single leg, no, when the guy comes up from the underhook, the top pins, he grabs a kimura and I was never successful with that. What he showed was like, I think he moved his chin. He just accepted that the guy was gonna take him down with that and he went down, but he moved his chin, went back and then he was able to sweep and then finish it from the top. So I gotta watch it and send it to you so you know what I'm talking about. Cause I never, cause, cause I know what he's talking about. Like when the guy comes from the underhook, okay. right? Like, let's, let's say side control if I go side control. Yeah, you come up with this. I always grab this, but I'm never oh. able to finish it. Oh yeah, this is, there's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, so I think he moves his chin this way as you come on top and then he's able to still sweep from here or something like that. Yeah, that, that's a, a head switch. Yeah, we, we call that one the, the guillotine trap. Have, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but this could be half guard or... Half guard or... Yeah. Or side. You want to do half first or side? We get to side. Okay. Side is it's the same idea, right? Okay. So if I'm side here, guy pummels in for the underhook. But I'm getting arm and side guillotine. Now, arm and side guillotine is slightly different on the finish. We don't want to be super deep, right? Okay. Uh, just real quick, just to show the difference. If you're on your knees, like I'm doing that same sit-up guillotine, yep. right? Mm -hmm. If I go super deep on an arm and side guillotine. It takes, it takes a lot more effort. Right, and the reason why, because if you feel where my hands are, mm -hmm. they're on your armpit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm choking your armpit. Gotcha. So the thumb rule is ah. important. That's when I want to keep my thumb close to your neck. Because okay. I need the blade of the wrist to be digging into your throat. Okay. Right, so. When I'm doing arm inside, I'm here. Now everything's the same. Oh shit. Right. So basically just the, it just has to be right there. Yeah, it has to be closer. It just changes everything. Because if I have my lever under your armpit, yeah. now this is blocking it. Got it. So I need it to be at least here so I can slide up. So when we're doing this underhook. So you're finishing it like from the underhook like when the guy's coming. Oh up, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna okay, finish it. So when he sits up here, I lock like this, yep. right? Now, if he wants to come on top, I just throw my leg over mm -hmm. so I know he's not going to pass to the, ah. the strong side. <laughs> so this is the trap, right? Yep. Because if you come up, you're, ah. you're ah. finished, right? Yeah, I'm going to start cranking. Ah. Right? Now, if you're smart about it and you stay, some people will go flat. I cross over and now I have this one arm guillotine here. Oh, shit. That's good. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, it's just a one arm. Uh, I can keep the hands locked, or I can hold with the chin with so one hand. So if you flattened out, you just go to one side. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so the, we actually had uh, one of my, my guy was a blue belt, Devin yeah. Genchi. We called yeah. it the Genchi team. Genchi team? Yeah, <laughs> that was his last name. He did this as a blue belt to a Popovich black belt. Tap them out in a oh, minute. James? James? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Pablo Popovich. Oh, okay. That ACC guy. champ. Yeah. One, of his, oh, uh, black, one of his black belts. Uh, it was Ma Jeffrey or something, Monchao, whatever. Holy shit. And he caught him with his nasty, just from a, he actually did this setup where the guy was sitting up, yep. uh, si seated guard here. He jumped the guillotine like oh, this, geez. and then he crossed over. Boom. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the same thing, but you just, yeah, he just the, knee cut. seated, you just knee cut. Yeah. But so again, the basic idea behind this one, as soon as the underhook comes in, yeah. I set my position. And I want to make sure that I can get my legs over your legs. Okay. What I don't want to do is fall like this, because now, yeah, and you're going to pass, and I'm going to be in all sorts of trouble here. So this is like when you get into get problems. Stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I get von Flute, and yeah. we're just reverse. So the moment I hook that chin, and I'm here, I want to get my leg over. Got it. Yeah, because now you're not going to get on top. I mean, you're not going to get to pass yeah, if yeah. you come on top. So now it's your choice here. You and yeah, and again, most, if they're smart, they try to stay here a little bit because this, I mean, I could still choke you here technically if I really, but it's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to really have to use a lot of energy. Yeah, the, yeah the, you're, you're best off trying to pummel in, you know, break my grip with your hands or whatnot with the free hand. Try to fight there because if you come on top, the choke's already in place. Uh, you have to, you do that yeah, and essentially the way it's going back when you're here, yep. I'm just knee cutting off just this knee here. This yeah, so when I'm here, yep. boom. And this just stays. Yeah, I could keep this here, like I could keep my hands locked, yep. and then I'm just dropping my hips and then uh, bringing my shoulders up. So I'm here, boom. So it works as both a crucifix, because your neck's gonna cramp, Crunched. and you have the hand on your neck, so there's a choke effect as Got well. 
Yeah, so we're going to give it a go. So I'm here. Yeah. There we go. So then I grab here yeah. and here, right? Yep. And I kind of just wait it out here. Yeah, but you keep here and then here. Oh, yeah. So if you want to break the trap, oh, yeah, yeah, you drop leg. to this hip and hook over. That's right. Boom. Now here, it might come up. Oh shit, I didn't even squeeze. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, no, That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Fuck that. I never could get a guillotine. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even fucking squeeze. I just kept it. Oh. I dropped a hit. And that's a choke right away. Yeah. That's it. So. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Right here. And then yeah. I drop, but then. Yeah, just make sure. I gotta, I gotta keep catching yeah. this. If you're gonna block the hips good here, or if you get the legs, that's fine. If you can get a lockdown on the legs, you know, like a, to stretch them out even more. Yeah. Yeah. Because your, your enemy is my hips coming up. Yeah, yeah. So if, you can, get a, if you can get a lockdown and extend my legs, my hips will drop, right? So example, if I have you here, right? If I can get my lockdown. Yeah, because I can't get up. Yeah. I'm screwed you. Yeah. And then, so as soon as you grab that, do you drop on your left hip right away then, or do you wait? Uh, because if I'm going for the, if I want to set the trap, I have to drop. Yeah. Okay. But if he stays flat, or, because if I drop and he stays flat, or no, or, or, or Well, for example, you'll, you'll feel it, right? Like, let's say I stay flat, right? So, I start coming up. And I go here, right? here, I go oh, there. Oh, so then I wouldn't drop the hip, got it. Yeah. And then, so now I just... You go to the knee cut with, uh, this knee, exactly, to the cross cut there. Yeah. Well, my hand is off already, so I got one hand on it only. But I can basically just yeah. Stuff you it. could just hook the chin if you wanted to, right yep. there. Well, and now you could use your other hand to pose if you needed. Got it. Drop your hips, shoulders up, and you're gonna be more of a sprawl position. But yeah, yeah. Oh shit! I got it. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. So you could. Oh, do so this. you dropped the hip to trap, but then if he goes back and he's if he goes back right away. Then you won't be on your hip, and you know what to do right there, right? Yeah, I mean, you could still drop to your hip, right? Like the, that's kind of the trap, right? right? Because it looks like it's going to be an easy sweep for me, right? Right? Because when I see you here, right, yep. you come up. Yeah. Let's say you drop to your hip right away, boom, yep. and you have this leg up. Right? Yeah. You know, so right now, even if I, you have to have a choice. Oh, you know, if I bridge really fast, I'm going to hit in here. Right. As long as you keep me from getting that side, yeah. Now I'm stuck here. Right. But it's hard to finish from here, right? Well, right now, since you're flat, yeah, you know what you, you do? Sweep. You, you could use this leg to push yourself this way. So use this leg here. Ah, oh, gotcha. See, Got now you've angled out a bit. Right? Oh, too far? Or? No, no, you're good. You okay. see, my voice changed. Gotcha. <laughs> you to, oh, gotcha. If, you, if you crank there, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, because or, or you can sweep too, right? But yeah, that's better. Probably. You, you could sweep there also. So like, uh, again, depending on where my base is, yeah. if you have a butterfly, like right there, you had just the, the shin in, right? Yeah, yeah. So you don't have the elevator option on this leg. Gotcha. Right? If this was like hooked in like a butterfly, then, you have the then you're gonna have the elevator sweep or that kickover sweep that the yeah, yeah, other Jake was talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. right? So you could do both of those as well. Okay. But just up there, I, I find your best option is just to scoot away a bit, yep. so you get the, the get strong angle. Crunch. You almost yeah. want that side crunch, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's the other thing, right? Like, if I'm here, my side crunch is not as deep. No, and it's yeah. very limited. Yeah, versus yeah. here, you can, yeah, I get a lot of range. Yeah, yeah. So, for me, guillotines should be on, on the, the side. side of the hip. Always on the side. You can never. I mean. You're not gonna finish on anybody good on the back. Yeah, right? it's gonna be very difficult. They're gonna be. I wonder why they teach that in the beginning, like from the from the Gracies, right? I mean. Yeah, it was an old school way of doing it. You know, I mean, yeah. bridge. It feels strong. I remember they used to be like just like arching back, and the head would just pop out. And... Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you wanna get more videos like this on a daily basis. Go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.